Hey, you too, what's going on? Is a 2000 Epiphone Les Paul Jr. made in Japan, as you can see there. Again, serial number is 002002. Um, so with Epiphone made in Japan, it was the first two digits of the serial number represents the year, and then you know your product number. Um, again, mahogany body, mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, and your Gibson open book headstock. They actually allowed Epiphone from 98 to 2002, it could have been 96 to 2002, um, to use this headstock for the Japan market or the overseas market, if you will. And I really wish Epiphone or Gibson would let Epiphone use their headstock. I get why they won't, just because then people would just buy Epiphones. Um, I think. I don't know why they won't. I mean, I don't know. This one plays great. <laughs> And a lot of the Epiphones now are actually really, really good, especially compared to the Gibsons from the past years. Well, not, we're not gonna talk about those, but um, yeah, uh, everything stock. You have Gibson Deluxe Tuners, um, Rosewood, Fingerboard, Mahogany Body, Mahogany Neck. You got one tone, one volume. You got your P90 pickup. Like I said, everything stock on it. The crazy thing about these are, this was actually made in the Fujin, Fuji Jin factory, and uh, it's like one of the best factories over over there and overseas. So it's really really rad to have something like to this caliber. Um, they actually made a series called the Lacquer series, um, made in Japan. I'm dead, and I don't know if this was a part of it. This is the only TV yellow one that I've ever found uh, on the internet or on the web. So it's pretty, 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 pretty rare. Now, Epiphone did make a 57 Les Paul Jr. Um, in 2002, I wanna say, or 12, I can't remember what year. But, I mean, I, it was pretty much this, but with, you know, the normal Epiphone headstock. Um, it had the 57 neck profile, which this one's really, this one does. It's super, super chunky. I mean, hell, this could even be, you know, a prototype of that. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you guys. The original guy that I bought it from said he bought it in Japan. Um, and I, from my digging and the serial numbers that I went through with Epiphone and everything, they told me it was built in 2000 in Japan at the Fujijin factory. Um, yeah, I don't know how many were made. He didn't tell me. But these, more of these are probably still in Japan, to be honest with you. Or they're gone and destroyed. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that's that's that. A super rare, um, extreme rare guitar. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And leave the comments down below if you've ever seen one of these before. And uh, if you ever played one. If so, did you like it? If not, eh. Just let me know. Thanks, guys. See ya.